What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day 76 of On Shape. We're gonna make our pen cartridges and the ink inside them and the ink pen tips. But before we can do that, we actually need to fix our cartridge separator because I found out I made it wrong in the last video. Or I need to fix it, would be a better word. So here's where I'm at so far. We have all of our parts modeled. We are just starting when with the internals of our carabiner pen. So let's go ahead and make all those parts inactive right now and let's fix this cartridge separator. So earlier we did a shell feature and I found out we just shelled the wrong side. So I'm gonna click exit and deselect that face and then reselect the correct face. That way the springs are gonna rest on this face and not inside of it. But anyways, our cartridge separator is almost fixed because these holes didn't line up with the thumb slides that are going to be attached here later. So we got to fix that. I'm going to click on transform. We're going to transform this part and we're going to rotate it. When we do that, we have to need to select an axis that we're going to rotate around and we're going to go back all the way to sketch one. And that allows us to have that center axis that we can rotate through. I'm going to select 45 degrees, hit the green check mark, and now my hole for the pin is going to line up with the thumb slides that we're going to model later. With that being done, let's go ahead and make sketch one inactive. Let's make the top inactive, and now let's model our pins. I did find a little bit of difficulty measuring this, so I'm going to model this in the way that I was able to measure it, so hope you can follow along. So I've tried to model it since we're doing a true top-down assembly, the part while it was in the pin, so I could understand how much is sticking out to the left of the cartridge separator and how much is sticking to the right or to the back of it. So what we do have is we do have two circles and it's gonna be on this. We're only gonna draw one pin and then we're gonna do a circular feature later. So don't repeat this. So our outside diameter is 0 0.108. At least that's what I measured my caliper. And then the thickness of those walls is 0 0.023, okay? Looks pretty good to me. We're gonna then extrude this, so Shift E, and we're going to do a asymmetrical extrusion, meaning we're going to the front one distance, to the back a different distance. So let's do that. Towards the front, we're gonna have 1.154, 1.154, and then the second imposition towards the back is going to be that looks like, actually, you know what? I need to measure that because something is telling me, my, my uh, gut is telling me something's wrong here. I don't think I wrote down the right number. So the total length of the cartridge is 2.12, yes. So I'm gonna do 2.12 minus 1.154. There we go. That looks a little bit better. Hit the green check mark and we're looking good. This part, since it, is, it does have a clear uh, plastic piece, we're gonna edit this appearance for this part. We're gonna choose this off-white, and we're gonna make it transparent by changing the, the part transparency of it, and it gives it that clear look. I don't know about you, but I think that looks sweet. Next, we're gonna do is we're gonna model the tip. So we're gonna hit sketch. I'm gonna go on this plane, right-click, hit view normal two, I'm gonna hit the use project button. We're gonna project this geometry onto that sketch plane so we can use it. And we're gonna extrude that circle just as well. We're gonna do another asymmetrical extrusion. So towards the front is gonna be uh, 0 0.282. And then towards the back is gonna be 0 0.1. And then instead of an add, this is gonna be a new because this is a metal tip with that plastic body, so we do want them to be separate parts. We go ahead and edit the appearance for this part. Let's go ahead and make it like that silvery metal. That looks pretty good to me. But this does pin tip does have a tip to it, right? So what we're gonna do is I'm going to use fillet, and we're gonna fillet this edge just a very, very small amount. I'll see if it'll let me do it. It let me do it earlier. There we go. Find it to where it just 
starts to do that pen tip. You know what? I don't like that too much. So instead, let's edit this extrusion. I'm going to go back just a little bit. Let's do 2.0.22. Uh, and then when we extrude now, I'm going to extrude that shape again, but I'm going to add a draft to it. So we're going to extrude this. We're going to give a draft of, let's do 30 degrees inwards. And then I wonder if we try to fill it this now, just to smooth off that part. That looks a little bit better on that pen tip. There we go. So now we got our pen tip modeled. That looks okay. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my ink in there as well. If we're going to do this, might as well do it all the way. So I'm going to find this part eight. We're going to make it inactive and we're going to extrude this circle, this profile. It is going to be a new. And that depth is going to be one inch. So we do have ink inside our ink cartridge. We don't have a color for it yet, and that's okay. So I'm gonna clean up my space a little bit. Let's go to part eight. I'm gonna go ahead and rename this. I'll call this pen cartridge one, because we're gonna re repeat this here in a second. I'm gonna go ahead and rename this. We're gonna call this pen tip one. And then for part 10, I'm gonna do rename this. We're gonna name this black ink. I'm gonna drag this up a little bit so I can see our other parts a little bit better. And let's edit that appearance for that ink and let's make it black. I don't know about you, man, but that looks really great. Next piece is now we're just gonna repeat our efforts, but we're gonna do that using circular pattern. So entities to patterns can be the tip, the pen, and the ink. I can't really select that ink very easily. So we're just gonna do it over here, black ink. Axis of pattern, you guessed it, is gonna be sketch one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna find sketch one, make it active, rotate around there. It already has four instances, that's perfect. Hit the green check mark and we're looking okay. Make sketch one inactive and now we can just come in here and we can add in all of our different part names, kind of what I've done, done in here. Not only do you make the different tips, but you can number them as you want and also give them their color. But I'm gonna save this for later and to, to make sure I don't this video doesn't run too long. What we can do after we've got this done is I've changed my composite parts a little bit to help me navigate through this. So we got pin bottom, we have pin top. Then the next thing I'm gonna do while I'm here is I'm going to make another sub-assembly. So let's click on composite part, highlight all of these, hit the green check mark, and so that way I can have a composite part of, you know, pin internals. Just so I have three sub-assemblies that make it really easy to navigate your part around. And that's where we're gonna leave it off here, folks. We've done a top-down modeling of this carabiner pen. It's looking really good. I know it's not perfect, but I am super proud of it. Hopefully this video has been helpful. If you have any comments or concerns, throw them down in the comment section. You guys are awesome, stay awesome, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.